Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, to all my new subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. You'll get notified when I post a new video. Uh, new video today. <laughs> uh, working on this furnace and this little travel trailer. Uh, furnace, the fan comes on. You can hear it trying to ignite, but smell absolutely no gas at all, which is strange. If the orifice is stopped up, typically, You'll, you'll smell gas, it just won't light. But we're gonna have to take this furnace out and see what in the world's going on with it. So uh, we'll take you along. So let's get started. I thought it was really strange that I couldn't smell any gas. Well, I took this propane line loose here that goes into the furnace. There's no gas coming through that rubber line, none. I took it completely off and nothing came out. So I'm gonna go outside underneath the floor and see if we can see maybe what's going on. Cause something strange is going on. Uh, I don't know what y'all can see. It's kind of dark under here. First thing I, done, I got under here is seeing where this propane hose right here has been damaged at some point and repaired. So I can't tell which one of these is the furnace but i'm going to assume real quick that this is probably the furnace so i'm going to take i'm going to take this loose here and see if we have any propane to here wherever it wants to come apart first it'll be all right with me If we can get it apart. Those hose barbs sometimes really hang on to that rubber hose. There ain't no way in the world I'm ever gonna get that hose off that barb. I have to cut the hose off. Would you mind going up and yeah. if this starts spewing propane, cut it off? I'll holler. No, we got no propane coming out of the hose. Nope. Nothing coming out of that block. Well, it's going to the other ones. I do not know. Um, cut that tank. Cut them both off. They're off. All right, just cut one of them back on. Do you have the little green indicator on your regulator? Yeah, it's green. It's green? Yeah, it's green. Well, there ain't nothing here. I got this hose off here where y'all can't see, of course. Oh, I suck at videos. This hose is completely off and there's no propane coming out of here. I know the rest of them work because our stove and stuff works. I lit the stove, lit the eyes on the stove and they work just fine. Fridge is right here. Well, that's just wild. Now I've never used the propane on the hot water tank. I always use it on electric, you know? Yeah. I don't know if it goes back that far now. Well, I mean, everything comes out of this block right here. Yeah. Uh, huh. 
Well. You want this tank off? No, it's fine. I'll just leave it on. <laughs> it ain't leaking. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get this. I'm going to see if I can get that line that they repaired out of that block. Because what on earth could be going on there? I'm going to try to get this hose out of that junction block right there. But it's been my experience that those usually do not come out unless somebody's already had this one out. Because they just, that brass and that aluminum just don't get along. They're so, they end up corroding. And God, oh by golly, must be our lucky day. It came out. What's that? Who said prayers don't work? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got gas there. You can cut it off. All right, as y'all probably heard, and I can smell, we got great gas coming out of the block. We're off. But oh, <laughs> look at there. That what in our world is that? In the end of that hose can y'all see that has this hose been off for a while and a mud dauber built a nest up in here <laughs> or what what in the world is that holy cow let's see what this is folks uh mud dauber is it really yep there we go. I'm gonna go get a piece of wire and run up in there, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right, folks, got the mud dauber out. Yeah. And now I can see through there, so if I can see through there, gas should go through there, right? Put a little Teflon tape on it, and uh, we'll put this puppy back together. And I bet the furnace works much gooder. Now you may question this repair that someone done on this hose. I'm, I'm, I don't think this is the most ideal thing. I think this hose should be replaced. But the thing of it is, all, this repair is on the outside of the camper. So, if the repair ever fails, it's going to leak propane outside the camper just until the, the new Acme safety valve on the, on the propane tank goes, hey, there's a leak and we're shut down, which takes about a half a second. Uh, but since this repair is on the outside of the camper, like I say, I, I don't really have a problem with this. I think this is a, I think this is an okay repair. Like I said, it's not ideal, but this gentleman also has a trip planned in two days, and he does not have time for me to order a propane hose the correct length and still make it on his trip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and here in just a second I'm gonna have the customer cut the propane back on and I'm gonna get my soapy water. We're gonna soap a dope this up real good and I'll make sure everything's good. I expect it will be. And then uh, we're gonna try the furnace and I bet you it will light. Unless there's something else wrong with the furnace. No bubbles. Uh, 
we're gonna let the customer go inside and cut the furnace on. You, you're gonna stay here with me, and we're gonna we're gonna listen to this furnace light. Amazing. When the furnace actually gets fuel, it will light, burn, and make heat. Is that not amazing? So, <laughs> this was another quickie, folks. Uh, thought we was going to get into something exciting, and we got into something weird. Uh, but I just, I thought it was really, really strange that we could smell no gas out here. I figured there either had to be something wrong with the propane hose, which I hate these rubber hoses, or the gas valve inside the furnace had failed shut. It's not a failure we typically see, so I was more leaning towards the propane. That's why I, I, I cracked that line in there at the furnace, got no propane. Come down here, found the problem, we fixed the problem, and all life is good. So y'all fix the problem, get down there, in that comment section, leave me a comment, a criticism, a concern. Don't forget to check out all the links down, going on down there. The Amazon link, uh, post office box if you want to send me something. PayPal, Patreon, all that nonsense. I'm going to go up road and fix another one. And uh, y'all have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.